What's going on gang? Welcome back to the channel, Colin J here, and welcome to another video. Today we got a special, <laughs> awesome video today. As you can see, we are surrounded in nature. We're in the middle of the woods. We're in Northeast Arkansas, and we got our buddy, Big Pins. Hey What's going on? What's going on, Thiggy? Gonna get some salamanders, Cole. Thiggy is our tour guide today, and as you just heard, we are on the hunt. For salamanders. Specifically, marbled, marbled salamanders. salamanders. So we have this change in weather. It's the fall. It's cold. As you can see, we're bundled up. It's 51 degrees it's and raining. raining. <laughs> and it's raining as we speak. And this triggers these marble salamanders to come out from their under, from their subterranean, uh, what do you call it? Haunts? Hidey holes. Their subterranean hidey holes <laughs> to travel to these ephemeral ponds where they will hang out, mingle with each other, and lay eggs. It's the breeding season fall breeding season for marbled salamanders. We'll tell you more about them as we get over there. Got Thick Pin, he's, oh, he found a mushroom. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm not good at my, my fun guy. I've always been told I'm pretty boring. He's got his fun guy, but we got our fun guy, our oh, personal boy. trainer, our personal field guide. But we're gonna, we're gonna hike up this little trail here to the ponds and we will catch you there. Okay, we're not gonna lie, we already have found one. This isn't this isn't a trick, but Jason flip over so this log. We're gonna show you exactly where we found it. Okay, here we go. Flip the log over, Jay. <gasps> look wow. at that salamander. That is exactly what we're looking for. And look, look at that, she eggs. has eggs with her. This is the marbled salamander. This is the species we are after today. We spent a moment looking in the pond and we didn't find anything yet there. So we start flipping logs and just look at her. She's gorgeous, Jay, you wanna pick her up? We're gonna try to be really gentle and we're gonna place her back right here where we found her. And we wanna take a moment. Her eggs will be fine, she was just simply guarding them. Here it is, guys. This is the species of salamander which we were after today. This is the marbled salamander. This, this salamander belongs to the family Ambistomatidae and that group of salamanders are the mole salamanders. This means that these guys spend a lot of their life underground and they're triggered each year by these seasonal rains and temperature. So this species of salamander is a fall emerger and uh, they come out whenever the summertime kind of rolls away and it starts to get kind of cold and like the first like really heavy dose of fall rains. And it will come out to these ephemeral ponds. As you can see, there's several different types of, several different little bodies of water around with these little ponds, these little pools of water. These little pools of water retain water for a few months of the year and these guys are able to come out and uh, find themselves a suitable mate and then lay their egg masses. This salamander laid her eggs underneath a very moist log and there's probably some more water and just enough moisture to keep the eggs alive. Once the eggs hatch, they will form, they will hatch in these little baby larvae. And much like a frog, which you know, um, go through, undergo metamorphosis, these guys will undergo metamorphosis. Salamanders, like frogs, are amphibians. They look like little lizards, but they are in fact amphibians, whereas a lizard is a reptile. And look at these beautiful colors on this salamander. They're just, they get the marbled color from this kind of marbling pattern. They have black and this kind of like grayish silvery blue banding and every salamander is different. If we find some more today, we'll see the different patterns on each one. But this little beauty is just so beautiful. So this is an awesome find. We just heard uh, Chris hollering across the way. He said he found another salamander. So we're going to run over there and check that one out. We're going to compare this salamander to that one. And then we're going to bring this one back to her log and her eggs. Stay tuned. Let's go check out this other salamander we got. <laughs> Biggie. You find something? Yeah, guy. So what we got under here, you got to be quiet and careful because she's, uh, she's getting a little agitated. Okay. <laughs> we got a female uh, marbled salamander, Ambistoma opacum. She's brooding right now, which means she's got her eggs. They must have bred right when it got cold, very first time, uh, which means she's been on here probably for a week or two. They're really close to hatching, 
what happens is they lay them out in the moist uh, soil, they brood them, they guard them. When it gets inundated with floodwaters, they hatch and they become larval salamanders. So let's see what we got. She vanished. <laughs> so we found her. Here's Mama. If you look at her, if you look at her, you can see why they call her the marble salamander. This is a, a kind of basic, kind of average um, saddle design they have. Uh, they'll be anywhere from white to almost blue and gray and kind of silvery like she is now. Um, they'll be modeled more like the actual marble that you get in your countertops. Um, and they are mole salamanders, meaning that most of the year they live underground. They dig underground. So here we go. We're putting Mama back to her eggs and we'll cover her back up and she can guard them for as long as she feels necessary. We'll probably have some more heavy rains and this whole place will be flooded before you know it and these eggs will be hatching. Make her a little lean to. How about that? <laughs> There you go. Got yourself a little little cottage. Let's do that right there. Right there you go. There she is. She is protected, concealed. And we're gonna do the same for this one in just a moment. I found a bunch of eggs. No way. Bunch. Do you see but mama I anywhere over there? I see mama. Hey. Maybe she's around here. She might be. Got to be close. Those, oh, oh, those oh. eggs are a lot older. Look at there. We said there was nothing here. And look at that little tail tucked up inside oh. of there. And look at her. She's just guarding her eggs. We'll probably just leave her be. But holy smoke. It's, it's warm in there too because of all the decay. Those are some good eggs. So now you can see how clear they are. Those will take a little bit longer. They're, they're bigger now because of all the moisture. They'll take in moisture and oxygen. Uh, but they're not super developed, so once they start wriggling around like more like tadpoles, they'll be able to break free. Yeah, we'll have to come out here once the eggs start hatching so we can show you guys the larval stage of these guys. They're really, really cool. They have big external gills. They look like a little alien. We're running out of spots, so the last couple things we're checking out, we're checking out some of this debris. There's like some old cars and some old wood, we got these tires. We flipped this one, and we're going to flip this one. And hopefully there's a salamander underneath it. Check it out, guys. Underneath this tire. She got eggs? No, no eggs. What could be a male? Oh. No. Check them no. check check out. I mean, male. Looks kind of fishy, right? That's a male. Yeah. All right, we got our first male. We caught, found three females brooding over eggs, and this is our fourth and probably final salamander of the day. We still have our other one we need to go release. But look at him, just super stunning. Looks like maybe the tip of his tail had got knocked off before, maybe it's regenerated, I don't know. Yeah. Looks a little bit like that. And uh, that's something that these salamanders can do. Super cool. I'm so... Just chill as can be. Yeah, so just as chill as it can be. I and mean, these guys are so pretty. You don't get to see these every day. So I'm really glad that we've gotten to get out here and find a couple of these really awesome salamanders. Okay, now we are going to release our first salamander that we found right back where we found her back on her eggs. eggs. Protect the eggs. There we go. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this awesome salamander search. Yeah, we, we came up here expecting to find a couple, but we weren't positive that we, were, that we were gonna be able to do so. So we were really thrilled that we actually found, I think we found five total, four yeah. total, five total? Wait, five, four or five. Four, <laughs> four total. <laughs> Marbled salamanders, they are beautiful creatures, and we really hope that you enjoyed watching today's video of us uncovering them. If you did, hit the like button for us, and leave us a comment below if you thought this, this was super awesome and you want to see more salamander adventures. There's plenty more yeah, adventures. Yeah, we can definitely find more salamanders for y'all. Yes, we can. <laughs> And if you haven't done so already, and you would like to, subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our future outdoor adventures. We're, We're Colin J, and we'll see you next time on another outdoor adventure. Woo!